<laughs> what? I learned to eat a lot earlier. <laughs> stop eating. Is that the same one that you got before? Mm -hmm. Stop. Stop <laughs> eating. <laughs> Let's whine about it. Yes, it is. And do you know what we're going to be doing today? I have no idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. We're making Jolly Rancher wine. Aura, tell them how many Jolly Ranchers is in here. A lot, but <laughs> you, not enough you had that to I guess. can eat any. <laughs> <laughs> Take a guess. Shut up. <laughs> uh, I'm using this for the wine. I don't want her to eat them. I think it was like 250-ish. Either way, I ordered two pounds of Jolly Ranchers, of blue raspberry Jolly Ranchers. Now, the question which I know you're asking, I know Or's asking is, is it wine though? Is it wine? Because wine is fermented fruit juice. And this is devoid of everything that God gave to nature, the Jolly Rancher. And it's just a word. It doesn't matter what you call it. It'll probably come out to 11 to 13% alcohol by volume. Call that whatever you want. But I think wine is a pretty decent word to use for it. I totally agree. <laughs> That's good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of these Jolly Ranchers, which I dutifully unwrapped, and we're gonna melt them down into probably basically a syrup. My plan is to put them into a pot, put enough water into it to cover them, and just heat that until they all melt down. And then we're gonna put the, all that syrup into a one gallon carboy and add enough water to get about a gallon total. Okay, we'll take hydrometer readings, we'll do all that when it comes to it. But for now, if you're following along at home, go on to Amazon and buy two pounds of Jolly Ranchers, a blue raspberry. And this was, this was actually a small fortune. Not gonna lie to you, to buy specifically blue raspberry Jolly Ranchers, but it's worth it for science. I agree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> stop, stop doing that. I'm having a good time. Here's all my Jolly Ranchers, okay? And here's pot. And I'm just gonna put them in the pot. Yay! Oh, that's a <laughs> Oh my God. I'm sure that hurt for them more <laughs> the, than it did us. That was a horrible sound, which I'll edit out, okay? And now I'm gonna add enough water, so I'm just covering them, okay? Probably pretty good. Go ahead, do you have it in view? I mean, I like Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. You can't really see much, but it's there. <laughs> get, a, get a live action of the flame. It's, ooh, fire, gas powered stone. <laughs> okay. And now what we do is wait, because it's gonna have to heat up. Cause it's how things boil. Yeah. What are you doing there, Aura? I'm trying to do it, but it's all sticking together. Oh. You didn't prepare me for this, actually. I wonder if it's candy that's melting. You know and what? That's why it's sticking. The sass. Yeah. Unappreciated. <laughs> <laughs> so then, what was the like? I want to make a Jolly Rancher wine. Where'd that come from? Cause it's super unique, and if you uh, Google it, search it up on YouTube, it hasn't been done yet. And I love, I really love Jolly Ranchers, and I knew that Jolly Ranchers were basically sugar, so I thought, okay, you can ferment them. Why not? Right. So. That's interesting. Yeah. So your, your title's going to be like, never been done before. First um, ever Jolly Probably <laughs> shouldn't publicize that too much, because someone's going to pop up and be like, you <laughs> liar, look, <laughs> from 10 years ago in Taiwan. <laughs> but, Taiwan. So, it's melted. Or would you? Do you want Wow. I know. It took a long time. Don't uh, give up too soon. Some people or wanted to give up when it <laughs> looked like it, they okay. weren't going to melt. Miles panicked is what happened. I did. I was like, it's not going to work and everyone's going to be so disappointed. But it did work. So now we're going to take this, put it back into the bowl, and then let that cool. Because you can't throw yeast into boiling liquid. It will die. And we'll see you in a second. Cool. All right. So we're finally back. We are. Mm -hmm. you know, why don't you tell them about how that went? It was an adventure. We finally got there. Miles tried to give up, but didn't let him. That's Honestly, the only way we got this. Yeah, so apparently when you melt down 200 Jolly Ranchers, they don't just simply like dissipate. They start to congeal into one mass of hot, like taffy-like candy. It for sure takes time. And then, yeah, it took it took a lot longer than I thought. But we got here. We got here. It's it's a It's slight... really pretty. Like I feel like it's going to be a royal blue. Almost. Yes. It's going to be really pretty and it's not like a syrup like honey, you know, consistency, but it's thinned out more than that. But it's still really hot. So, we're going to put this into this pitcher which is filled halfway with chilled water, and hopefully that'll cool down the whole thing enough so where we can keep going right away and don't have to sit and wait because I hate waiting. And we needed to put water in there anyway, right? We did. Because so. there's only about half a gallon of liquid here. We want in total one gallon of Jolly Rancher wine. So we're going to add it anyway. 
Sweet. So what we need to do now is pour this into this. Are you going to be able to do that? Mm-hmm. I had, <laughs> I had her pour it from the pot into the bowl because I was scared. He was. It was hot, though, so I'll give him that. Oh, cool. It's like Kool-Aid. It does look like Kool-Aid. Wow, did I guess right or did I guess that right? was perfect. I just had to I guess eyeball your OCD how much. really like paid off. There. Oh, it does. So now we go this into this. Cool, cool, cool. Give me that. Here, I'll hold the funnel. I'm very useful. She's really done a lot. Smile, smile. You're pouring it I on know, me. Sorry. I quit. I'm never coming back. You're not going. <laughs> but this is what the wine's gonna look like. All like brilliant. Blue. Yeah, it kind of looks like a, it's like a Ravenclaw wine. <laughs> <sighs> it's like a Harry Potter wine. You would diminish my accomplishments to a fictional book. You know, no matter what you do, your accomplishments will never be as big as Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're actually going to give it a little more water to bring the total amount to about right here. Where it says one gallon on these one gallon carboys, I like to fill just above that raised text. The most fun, interesting fact that you really need to know about me is that I was Miles' first kiss and he was my first boyfriend. It never worked out, <laughs> but that was how our relationship started. And now he's basically my platonic boyfriend, and I'm not mad about it. In fact, it's one of my favorite things. Uh, fun and interesting fact number two. Growing up, I'm pretty sure Miles exclusively ate Domino's pizza and Domino's wings. Like, I don't think I saw him eat really anything else at home. It's my favorite thing. Whenever I eat Domino's now, I think about him. All right, so now we got the water. All right, it's a little, okay. <laughs> All right, look at that. So now I'm gonna take a hydrometer reading on it so that we can find out its alcohol potential. So what am I doing here? I am measuring how much sugar is in here because that's gonna tell me what our theoretical maximum is for the amount of alcohol that we could generate. Okay. I thought of that term. Ooh, that was a mouthful. It was. No, all I'm, all I'm determining is the alcohol potential. Like, if the yeast eat all of the sugar that's in here, what's the maximum amount of alcohol that we could hope to get? That's why it's the potential, not the actual, because the yeast might peter out sooner than that, leaving some sugar behind. So it's at about 1.075-ish. I want it to be about 15 points higher, 1.090. So I'm going to add a little bit of white table sugar. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Now, this is five ounces of sugar. I'm just gonna carefully pour it in here. That is so cool looking. <sighs> so to help with the uh, with dissolving the sugar into here, I'm just gonna pour about half of it out so then I can shake up the, the half that's in here. And then you can stir the half that's in here. Okay, cool, I can do that. It smells like a blue jelly rancher. <laughs> it smells yeah, really good. It does. I'm okay that I have it all over me. <laughs> We're definitely not doing this in the most sanitary fashion, but that's okay. This is mostly just an experiment to see what works. What's an airlock? Oh my just god! Just no, no. <laughs> you, you didn't. You you looked at the airlock, held it up to me, and said, "Is this the hydrometer?" <laughs> Don't forget well, no. that that happened. All right, now that we've got the sugar hopefully completely dissolved, I'm gonna take another reading and make sure we've got enough sugar in here to get total 13% alcohol. So we're at about 1.096, which is exactly where I wanna be. All right, we're gonna taste it because I have never tasted liquefied Jolly Ranchers. So you first tour. It's really good. Yeah. It's really I, sweet. I bet it is. Oh man. That's a ton of Jolly Rancher yeah. flavor. It's almost gross. It's like <laughs> it's like a thick, rich 
Blue Jolly Rancher. I don't mind it. It reminds me of those like little um, popsicles that you would put in the freezer when it was called the Otter Pops. Mm. Like melted Otter yeah. Pop. Yeah. Okay. The last thing we're going to add for the yeast is yeast nutrient. So yeast like sources of nitrogen to ferment in a healthy way. There's absolutely no fruit, which is, could be a source of nitrogen in here. So in order to get a healthy fermentation that doesn't have a bunch of off flavors, we're going to add yeast nutrient. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead and get half teaspoon and then just put it in. Okay. Okay. This side is half teaspoon, yes? Both of them are. Both of them are, okay, okay. Let me make sure it's half a teaspoon. No. We're gonna add a whole teaspoon, but we're gonna do it in two half teaspoon increments. It looks like sugar. I bet it tastes terrible. Last thing we're doing is adding yeast. I typically don't like wine. But this isn't but this even really like, wine. This yeah. is just gonna be like a like a blue raspberry vodka that's half the alcohol content, even less. So I think it'll turn out all right. The very last thing is to attach your airlock. What you want to do is fill it halfway with sanitizer water so it meet, meets those lines. What it allows to happen is the carbon dioxide gas that will be produced by the yeast allows that to escape without letting any oxygen or any bugs or bacteria in. It's like a one-way valve. And if you didn't have an airlock, if you just cap this off, the entire thing would eventually explode from all the buildup pressure of the CO2. Mm -hmm. So, where we go now is I put this in my closet. It's gonna ferment for two to three weeks, probably. And then it will finish by then, or we'll come back on. We'll take a hydrometer measurement of it to make sure it's done fermenting, and we'll taste it. We'll go from there. Well, thank you, Or, for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me. Of course. So, we'll see you in about three weeks. Bye-bye.